All right, welcome back on the block, doing a week one podcast. Good to have everybody back. Rob Sode, Brandon Graham, Igor Henriquez, ready for another year of NFL. Um, guys, we're talking a little bit off camera about the Aaron Donald situation. Um, he did not get suspended, and the Rams are taking on the Bills in week one. Uh, that line started off with with the Rams coming off that Super Bowl win, favorites by two and a half. It's now swung the opposite direction. We have Bills at minus two and a half for week one. Um, so we'll get into this game, and then when we're done, everybody's going to give their picks of the week. We're going to try and condense the podcast this year, try and do about 30 minutes. So without further ado, if anybody pick on this game, go ahead. I just want to say, if Aaron if Roger, Aaron Rodgers wins the Super Bowl this year, every podcast has got to be at least an hour, just so I can roast the uh, hour <laughs> about it. Just all I want to say, if this happens. Aaron, this Aaron Rodgers is not winning any Super Bowl this year. <laughs> okay. He'll be, he'll be lucky. He'll be lucky to be top three in an MVP <laughs> voting with no, with no Devontae Adams. He's not going anywhere. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying exactly. Go ahead, go ahead guys. Sorry. Actually, you know, we, we should make a bold prediction thing on this podcast, yeah. by the way. I think that'd be a cool thing. Absolutely. Well, so Aaron Rodgers be top two in, in MVP. <laughs> no, no, well, that's not a bold prediction. That didn't happen. But – uh. Bills Rams. It's a little bit interesting that they obviously. I think the Bills are. Um, I think uh, last time I checked, they were still the Super Bowl favorite. They might have dropped down a, a little bit um, in in terms of that. But it's an interesting situation. You know, the Rams uh, are obviously going to be on on cloud nine at home. Um, the Bills getting two and a half. I particularly like the Rams in, in that game. Um, I think they're going to be jacked. I think that you know the banners going up. Um, I think they'll play hard. And, and again, they still have a very good, um, very good team. I'm a little bit concerned about Matthew Stafford's arm, but the running game should be better. Um, they didn't really lose a step, and they didn't, didn't lose anybody really key, minus Odell with the with the leg injury. Um, I think I think the Rams win the game, so I, I take the Rams in that game. I'll jump in here and just say that I think the absolute complete opposite of what Igor just said. I think this is the Bills' year. I think they want to make a statement to start. The first four games they have are nationally televised, so they're going to be used to the spotlight. Uh, Josh Allen is favorite to win the MVP this year and is the number one quarterback in all different uh, categories right now when it comes to the pundits. I haven't taken the Bills because I think they have, have a revamped uh, running game with, of course, um, better old linemen or better old line this year. Um, Gabe Davis is going to emerge. You have Isaiah McKenzie. You have Stephon, Stephon Diggs. You have a lot of guys. You have Von Miller in defense. I think this is kind of the year where I, I will see the Bills kind of projecting. So no more circles of wagons with the Buffalo Bills. I'm taking the Buffalo Bills at two and a half favorites. Rob, thoughts on uh, that game on Thursday? Kick it off. Uh, you know, I haven't looked uh, too much into that one, but I'll also go with the Bills if I had to pick a side. I I, I agree. I think they're the best team in the league. If you were to, if I were to do a power rankings, I'd say the Bills are probably the best team in the league. And the Rams are probably on a bit of a high, so you know, uh, I'll I'll try to try to catch the Bills, you know, or the Bills try to catch the uh, the Rams sleeping here. So, okay. So uh, to be honest, when I I did a ticket like way in advance, as soon as the lines came out, um, I ended up taking Buffalo at that point. I believe it was I have them just on the money line, but I think it was Rams minus two at that point. So I had them on the money line. I to be honest, take a game. Way, but I'll, I'll go with the Bills to start it off. Um, guys, before we get into our picks, I was going to say, let's look at some teams that you guys think are probably maybe destined for a bit of a, a fall off this year. Um, with me, I, I guess I'll go first. The team that I'm thinking of that I think is going to disappoint, not, not really disappoint, just maybe not the same, is actually going to be the Rams. I think that the stars aligned for them last year when we did our first show. I'm pretty sure I, I definitely picked them to go to the Super Bowl. I might even pick them to win. And that's when Rob got on me about Stafford. But um, they ended up pulling it off, and that division is it's still pretty strong. I think the Cardinals are probably going to be a strong team this year as well. I know when Hopkins went down last year, they couldn't really score too much. Uh, Kyler came off that big contract, Brandon's guy, um, as he tails off towards the end of the year. But I think that they're also a team. And then you know, they're going against Kansas City. I, I think that's another team that really – teams don't really – people don't really know what to expect. Losing Tyree Kill there. Um, everybody there probably getting a year older. Juju's coming in. Um, O-line maybe some questions as well. I know they've kind of addressed it the past few years, but um, I'll go to Igor and Igor, maybe even the Patriots, a team that you think is maybe going to slip up compared to. There you That's go. Say. <laughs> yeah. Well, so again, you know, in terms of, of the Pats, you know, the, the division, uh, I would say got better um, because Miami brought in obviously Tyreek Hill and, and that obviously makes them better. That will really depend on, on the progression of, uh, of Tua Tonga Vailoa, right? I think that'll be the big situation there. And, um, 
And even the Jets, I would say the Jets got better, but I don't think they can really be trusted. But I think the, the you know, for teams that might slip up, I mean, the Patriots made the playoffs last year. I think that it's about 50-50, if not maybe 40-60 in terms of uh, the situation there because I think the conference got, um, got much stronger. I think the West, I think to me – one of the team, uh, one of the teams is the West is going to disappoint, and it's going to suck because I think they're they're four great teams. Um, if I have to predict which one of the of the West teams would probably um, go down a little bit, AFC. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm actually going to say that the, probably it's going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. I think they're going to miss um, particular aspects of the of the having Tyreek. I think um, you know they're counting on guys like Juju and uh, and other situations. The running game is a little bit of a mess. I think they're going to miss Tyreek Hill's game-breaking abilities. I think defensively, I think they'll miss uh, like a guy like Ty- uh, Tyron Matthew um, defensively. I think they're the one that that may slip a little bit. I'm a little, I'm kind of sold on Vegas because I think Vegas is coming together nicely, and the Chargers are on the up, uh, and then Rob's Denver Broncos. I I like what they did. Um, I think that's what they were really missing was that quarterback, and if Russ can really cook he's got he's got a good amount of weapons so i think casey's gonna be in a dog fight um to even make the playoffs so now that'll be my bold prediction in terms of the west situation rob uh my bold prediction and i hate to do it because i love brandon but i don't think Cincinnati's gonna make the playoffs this year oh wow i and i love joe burrow i think he's a top six quarterback in the league and i love jamar chase i think he's a top two wide receiver in the league like at worst so but I just I think they 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 were very fortunate, and we've seen recently that teams that lose Super Bowl, for some reason, shit just happens, and they end up struggling the next year. I, I think Cincinnati is going to be the one. I, I think Pittsburgh will be a little bit better this year. Obviously, we know the AFC West is going to have four good teams that are going to basically eat each other all year. Um, but the AFC is just so good right now. Um, just so, in my opinion, so much better than the NFC. I. I I, just, I can see Cincinnati not making the playoffs this year. Yeah, it's actually a really good pick. I'm, you know, losing um, Uzama is a big loss at tight end as well, too, because they couldn't really afford his, his contract. And it's going to be really tough. I guess, think give me three weeks, Robin. I'm going to agree with you on that for sure. Okay. But I think the Patriots. <laughs> to jump off the ledge and everything. Well, I, I mean, I, I'm I a little listen. surprised because the O line got so much better. Because I, I actually yeah. think, the, I, I don't think they'll make the Super Bowl again, but. I think the O-line got so much better for Cincy that they're, they'll, they'll be even better offensively, in my opinion. I don't think they make the Super Bowl because of the because the conference is so tough. But I actually like the, what they did with the offensive line. I think that they'll be much better. Burrow won't get killed as often. I think it'll be they'll be pretty decent. Nobody's yeah, really Bates too. Bates was a really big piece they have to bring back, and he's back as well too. And they have those guys. But I, my big team that I wanted to get to is the New England Patriots. I don't think they make the playoffs. I think, to be honest, they can even be third in the conference. I, I'm sorry, Igor, but I'm, I just don't. Well, I mean, everything does, everything with, with Patricia. Division, yeah, in the division. In the division, yeah, of course. In the, in the division. Sorry, my fault. Not in the conference. Yeah, yeah. Everything with Patricia and, of course, uh, Joe Judge and running the offense. It's an absolute mess. They're both people that can't get the, their own way. They're, they're not going to be able to put it together offensively. Defense, I think they will have stuff figured out. But I just think offensively, they're not going to be where they, where they were last but year. I, but I'll say, and even as a, as a hardened Patriots guy, I think that's – I don't think that'd be a surprise. I think I think any everybody's picking Miami over the Patriots because they just got so much better and offensively they have better weapons. I mean, they were they were so sure on offense that they were they, were, they got better with Tyreek and and with Jalen Waddle. They gave us their best wide receiver from like Devontae two years Parker. ago, Devontae, Devontae Parker. Parker. So they yeah. like they literally gave us their scraps and then they they didn't even because Parker's always always injured anyways. But um, they were like, yeah, we don't need Parker anymore. We got Waddle. We got Tyreek Hill. Just give them, give them to a division a division rival. They didn't even care. I, it, the Patriots will strictly depend on the progression of Mac Jones, and they need to find some somebody on offense. I'm a big Ramondre Stevenson guy. I think he's going to break out. I don't know how big it's going to be, but I, I have faith that he'll do some things. But they're they're probably a 500 team. I I, I, don't, I don't disagree. And that's a drop off. Yes. I, I, exactly. I so you agree with me at the end of the day? That, <laughs> that's that's what they have first. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Got it. Jay? I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think, again, there's too many. Everybody's talking about how good the AFC West is. The AFC North, if Cleveland can tread water, we're talking about a division that's got Cincinnati obviously came from the Super Bowl. Um, 
You've got Pittsburgh that seems to always finish above 500. You've got Cleveland. And then you have Baltimore that, that nobody's talking about that had a great draft that had tons of injuries last year. I'm not a big Baltimore guy, but they were, were really snake bitten. It's just, there's too many, too many good teams, too many good quarterbacks. I, I I'm, I'm not a big Miami guy. I think, I think New England's going to finish second in the division, but yeah, I don't, I, I don't see them making the playoffs either. I agree with Igor. They're both 500 team. We were talking about Baltimore last year, the whole season because uh, Lamar was down. And I remember Rob, you were bringing something up. I don't remember what exactly it was, but you were saying there's probably some kind of serious injury that was there because the backup really took off last year. I remember Brandon, we were talking about him. Um, Huntley, Huntley. They caught you me. Talk. Yeah. Yeah. He, had, he had one of the best backups in the league. And speaking of backups with Cleveland, um, I'm drawing a blank now, but they're going to the old Pittsburgh, or sorry, uh, Patriots and, and the Colts quarterback. What's his name again? Oh, you're thinking Kobe Brissett. Kobe Brissett. Kobe Brissett. Kobe Brissett. Yeah, yeah, Kobe Brissett. I own as a backup, but when he actually had the reins last year, did nothing with it. Um, so, yeah, Cleveland, we've talked last year. I think Robbie brought up that San Fran and, and Cleveland were two of the best rosters, top to bottom in football, kind of lacking quarterbacks. Um, but even with San Fran, yeah, Jimmy, as we talked about in the group chat, came back the probably the most expensive backup in the league. I'm not sure really how much they're <laughs> trying to play Lance. Um, I know Igor wants to get in with his usual rap. <laughs> with his, what's the guy's name? Like, huh? Samuel. Super, Super Gremlin. Gremlin. Super, Super Gremlin. Gremlin. That was so funny. Uh, so he was funny almost was traded, but they ended up keeping him. Yeah, good on uh, Rob's team, the Broncos, obviously, they're going to take a step forward because they finally have a quarterback since Peyton's been gone. But our three teams, uh, Cincinnati, uh, the Patriots, and the Titans, are a big team that people are expecting not to make the playoffs. I'm not that far off the wagon. Like, I still think you're getting Derrick Henry back, who missed half the season last year. They treaded water without him. You're coming you're talking about a loss to the Patriots, which we got into. Um, you know, you have Derrick Henry there, and as bad as the weapons are, as they've always been on the wideouts, I think that, you know, with – with the terrible quarterback that they have, their defense made a step last year. And I think <laughs> possibly get in as Bradley Cole in his last That's play. right. That's right. Yeah, they, hey, I like Traylon like, Burks of Arkansas. The cackle. Traylon Burks out of Arkansas is a really good weapon. I think you're gonna really like him to right, kind of replace AJ Brown. Yeah, yeah no, and Bobby, he's, he's still and good. Don't, don't sleep on Bobby Trees, but like Robert Woods. Yeah, Robert Woods. Yeah, don't Pump. sleep on Bobby Trees. Right, you don't know what to expect. That's the only thing, right? Yeah, totally. I, well, a lot of these teams will. Go ahead. I have one more bulk prediction, and Igor is going to like this. I think Minnesota wins the NFC North. I think they. they... <laughs> I agree. With... I agree. <laughs> okay, no, I I'm not going to disagree with that because I think they have all the weapons they need. Jefferson's going to have a breakout season, and I'm not confident at all in any of the weapons that Aaron Rodgers has. So I would not be surprised if they they win. But the Bears will never be relevant. Doesn't matter if Maggie's there, doesn't matter. They're never going to be there relevant. It doesn't matter what it is. I think Jacksonville will be a lot better this year, too. That's another thing, too. Yeah, With the we'll, Jacksonville, they'll be, yeah. they'll be better. With Doug yeah, Peterson. Right. How, how are we gonna go? Uh, how are we gonna go the whole season without uh, Brandon's rants on Matt Nagy? That, that's gonna feel like half the half the air times guys. Where, where where is that guy? Wherever he's gone, he's cursed that franchise too. That guy's the worst. I don't even know if he's a coordinator under right now. I do thank God. I don't want to watch Madden. I can literally play Madden and have better better plays. I will him. say, I will say I agree with the point that with that whole Joe Judge, Matt Patricia thing on offense. Like I was never a big Josh McDaniels guy, but I think that will be a problem for the Patriots. So I, I will agree with that because those guys were I don't know, Patricia's a defensive guy. Joe Judge's formations with the Giants at times were comical. Um it, it might be really, really bad at times. We'll see. I, I'm hope I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. A defensive coordinator and a special teams coordinator doing offense. Yeah, Dis yeah. disaster, disaster. Just book it. Gotta, right now, gotta trust in uh, in dollar bill. <laughs> yeah, trust in dollar are, bill. Are we giving our picks now? I was gonna say. So maybe I think what we'll do, if you guys want to do it quick, um, I'll kind of run through the division. Just give a winner. If you guys want to do that, we'll go through every division. Uh -huh. Everybody. Just there. Then when that's done, everybody can give their three to five picks. Whatever you feel comfortable doing, and we'll stick with. Um, so I'll go through Robert saying the AFC is stronger. It is. We'll start with the AFC and we will start with the North then. Um, I'll go first um, with my division winner. Uh, I'm going to go with Baltimore. I think Baltimore is almost locked to win that division. Maybe not. Uh, Rob, you're not in your head. I'll let you go next. I agree. Baltimore. I would take Baltimore to win. Uh, Brandon? Taking the Cincinnati Bengals to win. Cincinnati? Okay. And Igor? I'm going to I'm gonna have to go agree with Brandon. I think, uh, I think Baltimore has like the weapons offensively, the wide receiver stuff is still pretty bad. They got rid of Brown. I, I don't think I'll take Cincinnati to win the division. Okay. We will move on to the East, and um, I have to go with the Bills. I think 
I think that's a lock. Everybody's a lock, uh, everybody. I think it's a lock. lock yeah. It's a lock, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Jets. I'm joking. No, it's the Jets. Yeah, that'd sure. be good. <laughs> hey, uh, listen. Yeah. So I'm going to go last because this is uh, the Titans division. Brandon okay. Boyd. I was going to say, Zach Wilson has a dog in him. If you guys know one of the stories. Yeah, yeah. Do not do not sleep <laughs> on that guy. He's a yeah, dog he's in him for sure. Uh, that's actually been his problem was the sleeping, wasn't it? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that was his problem. Scott player. All right, actually, AFC South? Thing. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. I, I'm really – this is really tough, but I'm going with the Indianapolis Colts. I just think they have everything from the offensive line. I'm going to trust in the Matt Ryan. They're my survivor pick this week, <laughs> so I'm hoping everything goes right. The Indianapolis Colts have – I think they have everything on defense, offense, special teams as well to make a deep run for sure. Igor? Yeah, I'm going to go Colts. And Rob? I really uh, – you're you're a closet Titans fan. Just say it. <laughs> Where's the I, hat? Where's the hat? I, I I am gonna take the Titans, but I, I tell you, I, I you guys are gonna call me crazy. I like Houston, man. I, I I'm like a I'm a Houston guy. I like Austin Houston Mills. with the division. Mills, eh? Yeah, I think I think it's just a little bit too much, but I, I'll take Tennessee. Wow, wow, that two and two. We gotta circle back to this. Circle back to this, eh? Oh, Jay, Jay, Jay taking Tennessee. One, two, and two. I'm going to go Colts. I think Colts wouldn't. Oh, you're going to go Colts. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I've never That's been a – I'll go with the Colts. AFC West, Rob, uh, we'll let you go first. I, guys, I I, I I, don't know. I I, I don't think I've ever had a division where I, – I almost want to say Vegas because I, I almost trust Vegas more than, than everybody. Yeah. Uh, I'll be a homer and go Denver, but I, I don't know. This, this, this is as – Flip a coin and you're gonna get it. You're gonna get a pretty good, pretty good pick here, Brandon. I listen. I don't know if anyone was gonna take this team, but the Chargers, man, Herbert. I think this is the year he breaks out again. Austin Eckler, that defense, you know, added Derwin James and gave him a contract. I, I'm going with the. Yeah, I'm going with the Chargers, man. Igor, and I'm back and forth on this. Um, I'm gonna take the Raiders. Wow, what? I'm gonna take the Raiders. Wait, whoa, okay, sounds good. Circle back to this later on. It's fine. Yeah. It's, De- it's, Derek, it's Derek Carr. It's Derek Carr. That's all I want to say. Yeah, it's it's Derek Carr, but like the upgrade, Derek like the defense was already already pretty good. Uh, like I think Devontae Adams ends up ends up being a real game changer. Uh, to me, he's the best. I mean, he's the best wide receiver in, in the division. I could probably better than Keenan. Out. Yeah, I think I think yeah, I think I think the Raiders end up. I think the Raiders were tough last year. I think the Raiders are going to be real real tough. And I think have- that whole that whole Las Vegas, they're re- really good at home uh, for a lot of the season. Yeah, I'm digging the Raiders. They might have the best tight end in the league too, and healthy. Huh? Yeah, but he's uh, he's uh, that's been a rarity these days. He's been he- really injured. So uh, I'm going to go Chargers. Uh, I think on offense, they I don't know if they have the best offense because all of their offenses in this division are stacked. Even we talked about the Broncos; they have you know um, an embarrassment of riches at the division, but. Um, but Khalil Max there, they signed the Patriots' best cornerback. I'm drawing a blank on his name. Like that defense for Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, and he he's a pro bowler. Um, that that's gonna hurt the Patriots. I think that the Chargers probably have the best defense in this division. I don't know if they have the best quarterback. Holmes is there, and all the quarterbacks are pretty legit. But uh, I'm gonna go with the Chargers with Brandon there as well. Uh, let's go NFC North, and um, Brandon, we'll go to you first, and uh, let me know what you're thinking there. Where's this all I want to go with Minnesota so much. But it's Kirk Cousin. Okay, you like that? I, I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers, all reliable. It's Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I think the defense is going to still be strong with Amos and those guys in the secondary. It's going to be tough, but I think someone's going to step up. It's not going to be Lazard. It's going to be Dub. It's going to be one of these young guys. I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers. Rob? I'm going to go Minnesota. You guys, a bold prediction. And Igor? Well, you know, I'm not going to take Mr. Peyote at the end of the day. I'm definitely <laughs> taking Minnesota. <laughs> I'm like, taking Minnesota. Ayahuasca, eh? Take some ayahuasca, man. Well, like I said, I think, you know what? Here, and and I, this is going to be my thing right here, and I just want to get this out. Like, this will be the year where Aaron Rodgers will have to prove something to everybody. He's at Jordy Nelson, Greg Jennings, uh, you know, Devontae Adams. He's always had a legit, legit – weapons on offense in terms of the wide receivers this is the first year where he's he's basically got like what tom brady had with the patriots three years ago it's guys that are like second or third wide receivers and he's got to make it work he better hope aaron jones comes to play and aaron jones is healthy 
or he's gonna, he's in a, he's in for a world of hurt. So we'll see. This will be the prove a year for Aaron Rodgers, in my opinion. I, I will be monitoring. Year. I will I be monitoring it closely. I don't, you, I don't know how you can question Aaron Rodgers in the regular season. The, the guy exactly. Like, playoffs, I get it, but in the regular season, automatic. Yeah, but he's been, a, he's been a regular. And again, I, 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 I've, I've had this conversation with Brandon. He might be the best regular season quarterback of all time. I'll give him his flowers. I'll give him his flowers, it's but awesome. he's all he's always had a legit, very strong wide receiving. This is the worst wide receiving score he's had in his entire career, probably by far. So yeah, by we'll, far. we'll see, we'll see what he by, can do. By far, you're right. By far. Jay, you're kind of, you're, Jay, you're kind of like uh, going in and out. I don't know. I, yeah. I, can, I can't really hear you. I was saying razor. Um, the team didn't do him any favors in the draft. They didn't help him out with any picks, right? Like, they didn't give him any weapons. Jordan Love's still there. Um, I'm going to go – I thought about Minnesota. I think Minnesota's going to win week one, but I think Green Bay's going to win the division. So, we'll go that. Um, Igor, how about them Cowboys? Let's go to the NFC East, baby. What do you got? So, I mean, I, I definitely – I'm going to go – I'm going to go Philly. I'm not going to go Cowboys. I think Philly is, is a team on the rise. I think Philly will actually surprise a few folks. And I will take Philly to actually win the division over Dallas. Okay, Brandon, I'm going with Philly too. I, I just think they have it. Uh, they've added a lot of guys, of course, on secondary. AJ Brown, receiver as well too. AJ Brown as well too. They they they're really going for it. Shout out to Nick Sirianni. So I'm going with the Eagles. That was our guy. Him yeah, and the Lions guy. and Campbell. Those were our guys. Those are <laughs> yes, yes. Rob, who do you? Our guys. I'm going to go out on a huge limb here. I'm going to go Washington. Wow. Wow. Um, Carson Wentz. Again, Carson, I'm done. Carson Wentz is the queen being. Carson Wentz, yeah. Tough. <laughs> I, I always tough. I'm going to do something they never do. I'm going to go Cowboys. I still think we're talking about regular season teams. This is a team that usually wins in their division. Um, they, they blew out a lot of teams last year, just ran out of gas, I guess, against San Fran last year in the first round. But um, still have a lot of firepower. I'm, I'm assuming um, – uh, Dak is going to come back a little bit healthier than he was last year. He's pretty banged up. I'll go Dallas to win the division. And then last, NFC West, um, I'll go. I have San Fran here. Uh, I think we skipped the uh, oh, NFC South. South too. Oh, my mistake. Yeah, but we'll go West first. Yeah, I, I got uh, San Fran. Defense is looking good, man. Um, that's a tough one. I'm going to go San Fran as well, too. Rob? I'm not a Trey Lance guy. I, I trust he, he bets, right? Like, I trust him. I trust I trust him less than the than the 49ers do. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Arizona. I'm not I, I don't think they're gonna have playoff success, but I, I think regular season Kyler Murray's is gonna be really good. Just he, he's showing that weeks one to ten, he's very good. And then it just I guess he's just something something happens, he wears down or but I'll take Arizona. Arizona and New York? Uh, I'm gonna go with old reliable. I'm gonna take the uh, the Rams. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. And the yeah. NFC, yeah, I think Rob is right with the troll Trey Lance thing. Yeah, you just, just can't be trusted at this point. Yeah, I don't disagree there. And the uh, the South Igor, uh, you like the Bucks? Of course, I like the Bucks. You know, well, Brady, Brady, well, the, Bucks, the Bucks basically, you know, New Orleans is a little bit transitioning. Atlanta and Carolina won't be great. It'll be either New Orleans or Tampa Bay. I'm taking the Bucks. They to me they they. Uh, they improved the roster pretty significantly, even though they lost Gronk. Um, I, th I think they got a great opportunity to go to the Super Bowl. That was good, Rob. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Best quarterback in the division is Tom. Um, I think they, did they lose? A, I think they lost an old lineman. Like a, a pretty. Lost, they lost a couple of old linemen. Worfs is injured, and Jensen is injured. And they lost a couple. They lost, yeah. So that, that worries me a little bit. But I, I don't think Caroline. I don't think there's any team that's really that's really close to them right now. So I'll go with Tampa. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. you you have Marcus Mariota starting. So sorry. Are they saying maybe Jameis Winston has a has a big year? He does. Yeah, I think he does. I, I like the Saints. I really like the Saints, but Tampa Bay has it all, man. We gotta go with Tampa. It's like this is unanimous. All right, Brandon set the timer. We got about uh, just under ten minutes left, so um, let's do our picks. Um, everybody will get their own spotlight. You can give us, like I said, anywhere from three to five picks. Anybody ready to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go first. What? Okay, so to start off with, uh, I am going to go uh, with a, a really – I hate doing this because they, they always burned me last year, but 
I have the Eagles minus four here. Uh, I like the Lions to cover. They probably lose the game, but I, I like the Lions to cover that. Um, so I'll take the Lions to cover. I will take the Commanders uh, two and a half is what I'm getting. Yep. For them, uh, I think Baker Mayfield's talked a lot of trash. I think the Browns will come out and, and try to beat the crap out of them. I'm going to take the Browns to win that game. And I will take Jay's Tennessee Titans to win by five and a half. And I will take the Vikings to beat Mr. Pia Peyote uh, in week <laughs> one. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Forget it. It's ayahuasca. It's not the <laughs> ayahuasca. I don't know. You have Petty Waka, Petty Wawa. I, I'll, I'll go quick because I know uh, Rob's picks are gonna be great. I'm gonna go yeah. with the Bills uh, to cover and obviously win against the LA Rams. Um, I also, I sorry, minus two and a half. Give minus me two and a half. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm gonna take the, the. I don't know exactly what the line is right here, but I'm gonna take the Detroit Lions to cover. I think it was three and a half. Yeah, four. I got three, three and, three and a half. Four, yeah. four, three and a half, four. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Detroit Lions as well. Uh, I'm going to go with the Indianapolis Colts. I know it's going to be tough away from home, but I just think they just they give it to, you know, Austin Austin Mills and Brandon Cooks and those guys. I'm going to go with the Indianapolis Colts. That'll be tough, but I really have them winning by at least 14 in my mind. Yeah, um, another one that's obviously really, really close. I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings to win. Minnesota Vikings, uh, this is going to be a harsh, rude awakening. Aaron Rodgers always loses the first game, and then he wins the MVP. So same thing happened last year. It's going to be the same same kind of a, you know. Not this year, pal. There. <laughs> Definitely this year. Uh, and then, of course, I got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, covering against the Dallas Cowboys at two and a half. Tampa Bay, two and a half. Rob, you ready to go? You're yeah. muted. I think I'm muted. Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, I'll go. And, uh, you know, one thing I noticed that in the first couple of weeks, the lines are really small. People don't really know who's good. So if you track in the off season, th this is the time to make some cash, but um, I'm still going to go with a bunch of dogs. I got Houston plus seven versus Indy. I'm going to go against Brandon there. Uh, I'm going to go Pittsburgh plus six and a half versus Cincinnati. I'm going to go Baltimore minus seven versus the jets. Uh, I think that might be the blowout of the weekend. Uh, Minnesota plus two versus green Bay. And I don't trust the chargers. I've been a Broncos fan too long. These guys find every way to screw things up. I'll take Vegas plus three and a half. Versus the Chargers. It's, it's a bold pick. Yeah. They find ways to lose situationally yeah. all the time. So That is true. Going to fourth down. Uh, need to. Bob, you raised a good point, and I say that every year. Um, at the beginning of the season, if you nail the teams that you think are going to be good early, you can make some good money. Um, cause you're right. A lot of the lines are tough. There's always a, a lot of roster turnover in the league. And if you could, like, if you think Indy's going to be a really good team, or even the games like Carolina, like you think Carolina's going to a few games, this is probably a game that they win. Um, and I, I'm going to make actually that's one of my picks. I have Carolina minus two at home. Uh, I think that they're going to Baker Mayfield a big game for him. I'm going to take them. I have Indy minus seven. I think that's going to be a big blowout. Um, I have Pittsburgh to keep it close plus the six and a half. I have the Giants at six. Um, I'm not sure if it changed. Uh, went down to five and a half. Okay, so I have the Giants plus the five and a half. And only because I haven't written it down already, I do have Tampa. I'm just going to confirm the spread here. It Snaps. is still – so I'll take them. Um, three favorites, two dogs. I'm just going to do a quick recap. Uh, Igor, Detroit plus four, Washington minus two and a half, Cleveland uh, minus – you have Cleveland minus two, uh, Denver minus five and a half, Minnesota two. Brandon, Buffalo two and a half, uh, Detroit plus four, Indy minus seven, Minnesota plus two, Tampa minus two and a half, Rob has Houston plus seven. Pittsburgh plus six and a half, Baltimore minus seven, mini minus two, and Vegas uh, plus the three and a half. All right. Sorry, I think uh, is it? I think the Panthers are favored one and a half, right? So I'm getting Cleveland plus the one and a half, right? Oh, my mistake. I thought you had Cleveland plus two. I wrote down. Yeah, so yeah, I, Cleveland plus two. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much a win, and then it's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that wraps up the picks. Any last thoughts before we wrap up this uh, first episode, boys? Or are we doing that one uh, lock of the week type thing again? <laughs> Let's go. One lock. Let's go. One lock of the week. I'm going to go really quick. I'm missing my lock of the week. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the Dallas Cowboys in that uh, primetime game, two and a half. Igor. Definitely ballsy, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to go with – man, this is a, this is a crazy – I'm a, I'm really feeling that Lions pick. I'm going to go the Lions plus four. It's crazy because those guys always ruin me, but I'm going to go Lions plus four. Hey, they've been good in the preseason, man. <laughs> Can't Dan Campbell and those freaking guys. Jared Goff. Uh, Rob, uh, I think 
you know, we'll always look back on week one and we see lines that were way off because some teams are really good and some teams are really bad. I think the Baltimore one's going to, we're going to look back and be like, this should have been double digits. I'll take Baltimore minus seven. Yeah. I don't know why. I, like, I, I think that Baltimore's going to win the game. I think the Jets are, I think both New York teams got better. I think they both had two of the best drafts. I'm going to go Indy minus seven. I think that's another one we're going to look at. And, um, yeah. and that was a bit undervalued. I'll go Indy minus seven. Uh, that wraps it up then, boys. Uh, Good to have everybody back, and uh, hopefully we'll get in studio and do one one show this week, uh, this year. Other than that, any last second thoughts, boys? Hey, good luck to all of you. May, uh, you know, may the force be in your picks. Down force with Aaron Rodgers. Oh, yeah. no <laughs> hey, the Denver Broncos will make the playoffs this year. Denver Broncos are going to be back to the promised land. I'm, I'm rooting for my boy Rob for sure. Thanks, I'm actually man. looking forward to that Monday night of that. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome that they had uh, Russell Wilson come back that first first week. It's pretty yeah. pretty cool. What very about cool, yeah. Deshaun Watson's first game back in Houston? Like that's the NFL cool. knows they know they know, what, they know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> and I had Baker's just... Baker's revenge game a little bit on low. And again, he's been talking so much trash. I think I don't know. It, it, he's really really motivated them on the other side. We'll see what happens. Miles well, Garrett. Happens. Miles Garrett's just chomping at the bit to get at him. I, I don't know. Yeah, they all hate him. They all hate him. Surprising. All right, that's going to wrap it up for week one. We will join you guys next week, talk about the week one picks, and then make our picks for week two. For Bob, Brandon, and Igor, I'm Joe. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next week.